Mr. David Risha, I want to show you how disconnected you are from reality, how disconnected you are from drivers. And I just need to play this piece by another favorite YouTuber that I support. And of course, drivers are very unhappy. I mean, this is sickening to see that they hired somebody new to be a CEO and he has a crazy big salary and they're still taking and taking and taking from the drivers. They're making sure that drivers can't make no money unless they're slaving and they're barely making money doing that. You have drivers doing 10 to 16 hours a day, which is very unsafe. Even eight hours a day is not safe to be driving on the road. Every time you get in your car, you're at risk. You're losing driving for Lyft, unless you have a job. But I can't even say that because it's still people losing with a full-time job doing this. But unfortunately, Lyft has a new CEO that can just spend millions of dollars on stocks instead of making sure their drivers who make them rich are paid. I am putting my money where my mouth is. He pushes this out 1.15 million dollars, right? How can drivers relate to 1.15 million if they're driving 10, 12, 15 hours a day, Mr. Risha? And I remember you coming out big and strong in your first 100 days. Uh, you did share with me personally what you're going to do for riders and drivers. And 120 days later, I've seen nothing. What, what I've seen is big statements like this. I am putting my money where my mouth is flexing. I've got the cash. I can buy stock. You are bowing and blowing, right? Blowing one group only, your investors. Hopefully luring them in so that your stock price can go up right? And that you can maybe achieve your 900 million. But where you are so disconnected, and again, I could play her soundbite over and over and over again. She sums it up in those few minutes, right? Here is where you are going wrong. You're sending the wrong message with these type of press releases to the drivers, right? And you've got this short window to make an impression and change things so that the people don't perceive you as Logan Green and John Zimmer. But what you are doing, it's a radical mistake, Mr. Risha, going out and trying to play the same game that Logan Green and John Zimmer are doing. You, you saw where it got them. And, and I, just, I just want you to understand this. You saw where it got them. It got them down to eight nine dollar stock price and you come in with the right message you did you came in with the right message but you did not deliver on that message right and you also need to understand that the people that are paying your executives you guys tend to forget this and every investor who's put a dollar into this company i know many of you are watching the videos but what you are forgetting is that you are playing the same sound bite hoping hoping praying that your stock goes up, that Wall Street will embrace you, that the public investor, the mom and the pop will embrace you. But you're not fixing the core of the issue. And the core of the issue is, why are you losing all these drivers? Why have you done so much damage to your driver and rider base? Why are they exiting? Why can't they get lifts? And if you're not able to start there and organically growing and deliver on his original message, instead of again switching directions and talking about 1.15 million, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. David Risher, if you put your money where your mouth is, right? If you put your message, if you put your work and your ethic and your input where your mouth is, all I have to do is go back 100 days and play the soundbite that the promises that you made to the riders and the drivers. You are not delivering. And you're wondering why? You're wondering why you stuck at $11. It's atrocious, 
right? And you're going to end up like Logan Green and John Zimmer. Mark my words. I can read you energetically, my friend. I can read you. You are going to end up in the same position, right? Being disrespected and kicked out. Maybe another guy comes in, right? Look, you've worked under Bezos. I, I am not doubting your skill set. I'm not doubting it. But you are not applying. You are not applying what you came out saying. You came out swinging. I'm going to change the pay. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to make this more affordable for riders. Your two core messages. You're not delivering on them. Of after three months, instead, you are delivering the worst possible message to the people, to the millions of people actually making your company the money, right? Can you imagine keeping riders and drivers happy, Mr. Risha? Dear investor of Lyft, can you imagine drivers coming back and being excited driving about Lyft and slowly, slowly growing the company again and slowly, slowly growing the trip count and the dollar amount quarter by quarter? Then you will go somewhere. But to have a guy come in, oh, you know, I worked under Jeff Bezos. I've got money. We know you have money. But the drivers cannot relate to that. Riders cannot relate to that. And if you think that the only group of people you are appealing to with this press release when you say, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, you're sending the message to other CEOs, hey, I believe in my company. I'm putting money in. Okay. Those are probably the only people that it resonates with the people that have that type of money. This doesn't resonate with your employers. This does not resonate with the millions of gig workers out there making Lyft and Uber the money daily, 24-7, 365 days a year. Those individuals will not understand this. And those individuals... <coughs> will laugh at you, will laugh at you when you say, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, because that language doesn't resonate with the majority of your company. Do you capish? Click, does it click yet? Right? Is there like, what do I need to do? Do I need to like uh, fasten a couple of, couple of bolts? Do I need to check you into ER? What do I need to do to get this through to you? That your message is wrong. But your message is wrong. Your game plan in the next, if, if you want to save yourself, if you want to save your position and your company, your game plan in the next 30, 60, 90, 120 days should be the following. All the press releases that you're pushing out, driver and rider oriented, driver and rider oriented. Drivers, we did this for you. We just introduced this safety feature. Drivers, we just bumped you up in this city from this mileage rate to this mileage rate. We hear you, right? We're coming. We're addressing it. Riders, we hear you upset in New York, right? Etc., etc. If you do not go down that road, if you are not willing to go into the trenches, if you are not willing to bounce around city by city and talk to the drivers, your company is going down. Same way the Titanic went down. If you are not able to mix it up with the people, right? This is not the people. Your Lyft employers and your, your drivers, your independent contractors cannot relate to this. This is not the people. If you want to save your company and save your ass and save your face and save your position, start applying what I'm telling you. The focus 150% has to be on growing... Um, the, 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 the health of drivers and riders. You keep them healthy. You keep them happy. You address their needs. Bit by bit, you will bring this company back. Otherwise, you are going to fail. Be safe out there, dear drivers. Your comments, please.